little after 1 p.m. on your Monday afternoon, I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Kerr with an on-demand storm tracker forecast. High pressure is parked over Colorado and low pressure sitting here over Northern California. This creates the polar jet stream right in between the two and because there's big kinks and curves in that jet, the weather pattern is going to be slow to transition, so everything's slowing way down. We're worried about the potential for some stronger thunderstorms, mainly from Butte to Haver this afternoon and evening, but tomorrow north of Interstate 90, especially east of the divide, there's a slightly higher chance for some damaging thunderstorms tomorrow. Doppler net not really showing a lot of convective activity, but it's only 1 o'clock here as I update this for you online. Uh, that should begin to fill in, and in fact, our high-resolution model shows a few showers and thunderstorms in the early afternoon today for southwest Montana, mostly west of Interstate 15, but it should begin to fill in just a little bit between about 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. this evening, especially from Dillon to Butte. Again, it's training over the same track, so it's following that strong southwest flow and it's mainly across the western half of our viewing area this afternoon and this evening there could be some uh, locally heavy rain some small hail frequent lightning but that should taper after sunset for tonight but it comes back again throughout the day for tomorrow so a regional rainfall forecast again as we let this play out over the next three days shows that these areas in red yellow blue that's where we expect to see some of the heavier precipitation and that's in central and northern idaho western montana in far eastern Montana. So as we break it down even further locally, this model is one of many, uh, is showing that the best potential for some moderate to heavy rain, again, it's going to be roughly along and west of Interstate 15. But we all pick up an increasing chance for rain as we go into Wednesday and Thursday and possibly even some higher mountain snow. We'll update this forecast for you tonight at 530 and 10 on KXLF and KBZK.